So good point. Um, first thing first is high quality connectors. The connectors themselves are super critical. Um, the length that you can run an RCA, uh, remember that we're talking about relatively low voltages here. I would say that uh, on a practical basis, I probably wouldn't run uh, myself an LFE that was on RCA based longer than about 30 feet. After that, I would switch over to XLR. Um, XLR connectors are wonderful. They, they just are big, stable, locking connectors. These particular ones are from our friends at Cardis that were kind enough to loan us to the, to these to us. Um, and, and with an XLR, you get these things in, everything clicks and locks in place, and they're really good. They also have two different hot conductors. So you're able to send a, a, a more robust signal with a dedicated ground. Uh, it keeps everything very, very quiet. You know, in, in studios, we run these things two, 300 feet without losses. So if you're doing a really big theater, one of these things where you're gonna be uh, having multiple theater seats and you know everything, including a popcorn maker built into the place, I would encourage you to switch over to XLRs. It really is more appropriate. For most of us, 30 feet is a pretty good long distance. These will work fine. One thing that this doesn't have that I like to see on the, the cables we recommend is an additional outboard ground. Not because this doesn't have a ground. You, typically, the shield, this outer barrel, uh, carries the ground and the hot goes through the center pin. Uh, with uh, an additional ground wire, uh, it just lets you get rid of potentially um, ground loops. So what's a ground loop? The ground loop is just when you have multiple grounds in a system. And believe me, if you're talking about a typical audio video receiver, there might be two or 300 ground points that exist. They're so complicated internally. And so it's nice to have that extra little insurance policy when you look, uh, do a search for it, do a search with a, an additional or external ground wire. Not a big deal if the cables that you already have uh, don't have it. You can absolutely go down to, uh, or, or just order online, um, some inexpensive 16, 18 gauge cable, uh, the wire, not even a cable, just wire, uh, and have uh, a separate ground run just parallel to this. Heck, just take some, some blue painter's tape and, and tape it around this thing and it can just mimic the, the, the flow you already have. And that allows you to connect up to, for example, chassis ground. Uh, one of our favorite receivers, the Marantz, has all these beautiful copper clad screws on the back. The neat thing about those is they're all grounding points. So if you have a little bit of noise, you're going, gosh, how do I get rid of that hum? You can just tap to that, tap to uh, a, a screw on the back of our rel or just touch the, the uh, LFE barrel the, the ground barrel on the LFE input and potentially get rid of it. So those are some of the, just the basics. Um, I'm not going to get into the sonics of trying to assess, you know, some of the three or four hundred different LFE cables out there sonically, but these are the things we look for. Good high quality connectors, good shields. Shield uh, tends to minimize the, the amount of noise and hum that can get into a, a cable, and then an external ground wire or a drain wire.